What's up guys, it's Steph, and today we're here to talk about one of my most recent reads, and a book that kind of fell into one of my favorite categories. Um, it's by someone who I consider one, to be one of my favorite authors, and that is this kind of funny story by Ned Vizzini. This book was first released in 2007, I read it in 2018, so there's a bit of a gap since when it came out and when I read it. So, there's that. This book was also writ written after Ned Vizzini spent five days in an adult psychiatric Methodist hospital in Park Slope, Brooklyn, and it gives you the dates of when he stayed, and... He also put in where when he wrote the book, which is under a month, r pretty much right after he got out, he took a little bit, and then he wrote this book in less than a month, which is pretty crazy to think about. Much as the description says, for a novel about depression, it's kind of a funny story. Speaking of which, if you're uncomfortable with the topics of suicide and depression, then this is definitely not the book for you. Those two topics are the real meat in this book sandwich and what we're going to be talking about as we go through the book review. So I understand if you want to click off and you don't want to keep watching this and if you don't want to hear me talk about this book. That being said, I'm going to talk about it right now. <laughs> you had your chance to leave. This book follows our main character, Craig. Now he is someone who is very ambitious. He wants a successful future. So he tries his damnedest to get into Manhattan's pre-professional it's like an exclusive high school, you have to take a test exam to get in. And so he studies day and night, like his life is studying. He goes hard until he goes into this exam, and he passes, and it's one of the happiest days of his life. But that's also where the downhill slopes begins. Craig very quickly realizes, when he, once he gets to the school, that he is not really above average to any one of his classmates. He's actually just average, or possibly even below that. The stress of potentially losing a successful future begins to really weigh down on Craig. He stops eating and sleeping and feeling what he calls tentacles wrapping around him as his thoughts just keep circling in his head. It gets to the point where he considers ending it all. Thankfully though, Craig seeks help. He is admitted to a mental hospital where he remains for a short stay and that is where the majority of the book takes place. Here, Craig doesn't feel the pressures from school or his friends. He's able to just sit down, take a minute, and really confront the face of his anxieties. Though this book is about a character dealing with depression and the downward spiral, it doesn't feel like a sad book at all. Craig is undergoing serious pressure from schoolwork and his friends, but his family is so supportive of him getting better. They support him going to therapy. They support his stay in this mental hospital so he, he can try to get better like they're just so supportive and there for him it it just felt so good everyone felt so supportive in this book there wasn't really a major Debbie Downer in this book there were a couple but pretty much everyone was very supportive of you did a good thing by coming here you did a good thing by calling the suicide prevention hotline you did a very good thing just trying to to find help and I really, really love that about this book. Another thing I want to talk about this book, I mentioned earlier, tentacles. What Craig calls tentacles wrapping around him and kind of just kind of restraining him. That is what he believes to, he calls his anxieties these tentacles and these things that like really start the, the circling. And it, it really reminded me of Turtles All the Way Down by John Green when um, Aza start, mentions her thought spirals just going down. It's very much similar to Craig's circles where things, it'll just start, if I do this, then it happens this, and then it happens this, and then it happens this, and like everything just keeps leading back into each other, and it's just a constant circle of, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna be a failure, I'm not gonna have a successful life, things are gonna go to absolute hell from here, and they just keep going and going in this constant circle, and I think a lot of people can relate to that when once you get something stuck in your head, and it just keeps going, and it keeps circling back to it, and it's just, mm. It, it doesn't, it, you just get stuck there, and it's hard to get yourself out of that. For Craig, he needs anchors to keep himself out of those thought circles. And he does find, at, during his stay, he does discover more anchors and more things he can use as anchors to help prevent those thought circles. And prevent the tentacles from creeping back in and taking and snatching him up. And I just, I really enjoyed this book. It was all about, the whole focus was Craig trying to figure out how, why, why he started falling into this circle of depression, how he can get better, what he can do, and also alert, like bringing in other interesting characters. And it never felt like a sad book. It never felt 
so overly depressing it was sad that there were some really funny moments in this book it was so good and uh, I just wish that Ned Vizzini was still with us so that I could just like ask him more about his thought process when writing this book because like I said it was written in a month after his own stay in somewhere very similar to where Craig stays and I would love to just ask about some things but unfortunately it can't be done but still I think you if you guys are interested in looking about a book looking for a book about mental health and I just think this is a very good book I'll be honest with you guys I was not sure if I was going to like this book because I read be more chill I like be more chill but there are some things some characters some of the characters are just meh 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 like the book is I think less than the musical but that's just because I'm complete trash in the musical, so let's move past that. But I was afraid of whether I would like this book or not, and I absolutely loved this book. It kind of solidified, as I said in the beginning, that Ned Vizzini is one of my favorite authors, and I really want to read his other, I believe there are two other books um, out by him. Um, yeah, and I just really wish there were more and that there were opportunities to talk to him. And it sucks that he's not no longer with us, but... He lives on through his work, and I'm really appreciative of the few works that we got from him. I think that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I was good enough at describing this book and what I liked. And yeah, I think that is it. I recommend this book if you can handle the topics of suicide and depression, because the very first sentence goes in strong talking about it. I mean, let me just read it to you, because it's the first sentence. It's not going to be anything too spoilery. It's so hard to talk when you want to kill yourself. I mean, that's a pretty heavy opening sentence. And if you're not comfortable with something that starts off just like that, immediately jumping into the kind of low points right there, then this isn't the book for you. This isn't the book for everyone. But if you're interested in looking into it, it's a very interesting conversation about mental health. And what you like, I just think it's a really good book and I recommend it. And I've said it a lot. I'm going to stop talking now. And I'm gonna let you go. If you want to see the last video for my channel, I believe it was the Road So Far book tag. I'll leave that for you right here. I'll also leave another video for my channel right here. If you like, subscribe. My face will be right here. And you can hit that little bell icon down there to be notified when I post new videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And let me know what other book reviews you want me to do. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a lovely day slash night. And I'll see you later.